change. It's constant, inevitable, and sometimes a little bit daunting. We all face it, whether it's a shift in our daily routine, a new job, or the decision to lead a healthier lifestyle. But the journey to change, especially when it concerns our habits, isn't always straightforward. It is here that the stage of change model, a psychological tool developed by Prochaska and De Clemente in the twilight of the 20th century, becomes a beacon of understanding. Imagine standing at the base of a mountain, the peak hidden in the clouds. That's the pre-contemplation stage. At this point, individuals might not even realize there's a summit to reach. They may not be aware of their unhealthy habits or see a reason to change them. As the clouds start to clear and the peak becomes visible, we've moved into the contemplation stage. Here, the awareness of a problem exists and the gears of thought have started turning. But the journey hasn't begun just yet. Those at this stage are still weighing the pros and cons. The effort versus the reward. Next comes the preparation stage, the base camp before the climb. Individuals are readying themselves, gathering the necessary tools, and making small but significant strides towards their goal. They're planning to act, and soon. Then we begin the action stage, the heart of the journey. This is where the most visible changes occur, where habits are broken and new ones are formed. It's a demanding period that requires dedication, time, and energy. After the arduous climb comes the maintenance stage, a plateau of sorts. The new behavior has been adopted, but efforts are now directed at preventing a slide back down the mountain. This stage could last for months or years as individuals strive to keep their new habits intact. Finally, we reach the elusive termination stage. Here, the new behavior has become second nature. The once daunting peak is now home. Temptation to revert to old habits is non-existent. However, not everyone reaches this stage and it may not be applicable to all behaviors. Consider the journey to blood pressure control. It starts from not knowing the risks of high blood pressure, moves to understanding its importance, but being unsure of the steps needed and progresses to actively monitoring and making dietary changes. It continues with maintaining these changes over time until they become a norm, a part of life. The stage of change model isn't just theory. It's a practical guide a roadmap to understand where we stand in our journey towards change and what we need to do to move forward. I use the stages of change model to guide my PhD dissertation work. The stages of change model, medication adherence, medication adherence, self-efficacy, and self-blood pressure monitoring are interconnected components of hypertension management. By recognizing and addressing these factors, healthcare providers can support patients in achieving better blood pressure control and overall cardiovascular health. Nurse practitioners and physician assistants play a vital role in guiding patients through the stages of change, providing tailored education and support to enhance medication adherence, self-blood pressure monitoring, and lifestyle modifications ultimately improving hypertension management and patient outcomes. Thanks for tuning in and subscribe to Hypertension Resistant to Treatment for more help.